Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church. This is Pastor Wiggins. And again, this is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you are rejoicing. I pray you are glad in it. I pray you are looking for God's best today. And I'm praying you're going to experience God's presence today. Yes, God's presence. He will never leave you, nor will he forsake you. God loves you and God will always be with you. And that's why we're praying through and reading through the Psalms to be reminded of the power that is in God's presence. And today we're going to be praying uh, from Psalm 23. Psalm 23, a very familiar passage of scripture to many people who read the Bible and some that don't. They know Psalm 23. So we're going to be praying through Psalm 23 for the next few days. And I pray it's a blessing to you as you do your daily devotionals with us. Today, we're going to read from Psalm 23 and verse 1 through 3 from the New King James Version of God's Word. Here's what the Word says. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Amen. Today, we just want to pray according to Psalm 23, verse 1 through 3, a prayer of God or a prayer for God's provision. It's a prayer for God's provision in our lives. And specifically, we want to pray that God would provide us with satisfaction, that God would provide us with direction, and that God would provide us with restoration. Amen. Come on, let's pray to the Lord. Lord, we love you and we honor you and thank you and praise you just for the privilege of prayer. Lord, you told us that we ought to always pray. Lord, you taught us how to pray the model prayer in Luke chapter 1. You told us to look to you, our Father, which art in heaven, and to remember that your name is holy. So, Lord, we take our eyes off our situations and our circumstances for a moment, and we look to you who are in heaven. And we recognize and realize that you are our Father, and that we are your children, and we have sisters and brothers in the faith. And so we pray to you, but we also pray for one another today. And we call your name holy. Holy, holy, holy is the Lamb of God. Lord, we pause in a world of wickedness just to recognize how holy you are. You're wonderful, you're mighty, and you're greatly to be praised. And today, as we read in Psalm 23, we know you to be our shepherd. And we pray for your provision today. Specifically, Lord, I pray that we would not want. I pray that you would satisfy us with the good things in life. I pray that you would satisfy us with the things that we need, as well as some of the things that we want. I pray, Lord, you would give us what to desire. You would give us the desires of our hearts. I pray, Lord God, that your, your children, I pray that your people, I pray that they would be satisfied today. Lord, there's so many people who are dissatisfied, disgruntled. They're upset, mad, mad, evil, angry, hard to get along with, mean. And God, it's because they are dissatisfied. They are looking for satisfaction in all the wrong places. But God, we've come to you knowing that all of our help, all of our satisfaction comes from you. Provide our satisfaction today. But not only provide our satisfaction, God, provide our direction. Lord, you said in your word that, that you are a shepherd that makes us to lie down in green pastures and you lead us beside still waters. So, Lord, give us direction today. Lord, give us direction on our, on our, our destinies today. Give us direction on our educational pursuits. Give us direction on our career pursuits. Give us direction in our jobs. Give us direction in our homes in our families, in our ministries, in our, in our government, in our companies, corporations, and businesses. Give us direction, O oh God, for us individually. Give us direction for the church corporately. Lord, we need your direction. And we pray that you would lead us beside still waters, that you would give us peace in the midst of our prosperity, that you would give us peace in the midst of our journey, that you would give us peace in the midst of your presence. Lord, lead us beside the still waters today that we might be able to restore our souls. 
Lord, our journey has been hard and sometimes arduous and sometimes long. But Lord, when you lead and you guide, you lead us to places where we can be restored. We pray for restoration today. I pray for somebody's relationship with you that has not been right. And they know it. They feel it. They understand it. But I pray you would restore their relationship back to you today. I pray for some husband, some wife, some some parent, some child, some single person that has had an issue in a relationship that's been fractured and there's friction. I pray you would restore relationships right now in Jesus name. I pray for somebody who has lost a position that they used to hold or lost a place that they used to be in. God, I pray you would restore them back into their position. I pray you would restore them back into the place that you would have for them. Lord, restore us, restore our souls today and lead us in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Lord, as you provide these things for us, we give you praise and glory and honor, not just because you provide them, but for who you are. You are the Lord and you are our shepherd. We thank you for being our leader and our guide. We bless you for being our God. And we give you all the praise, all the glory and all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen. Listen, I just want you to know I love you so much, family of God, and I appreciate the encouragement that people have been sending our way. And I want you to know we love you. And if these have been a blessing to you, subscribe to the channel and then go ahead and share that channel. Put uh, that channel on in the text message or send it out to somebody uh, through social media. Let them know we're praying each and every day through the Psalms. We're going to close out this 30 days of praying uh, through the Psalms by praying through Psalm 23. And today it was from Psalm 23, verse one through three. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his namesake. We'll be back tomorrow as we uh, come to the close of these 30 days. I pray they are a blessing to you. I pray you're blessed. Be victorious. God bless.